These two sisters may look innocent, but they are actually so crazy that you won't be able to spend a night with them. They run a cabin on a deserted mountain, where only a few men dare to go. Let's see if you'd like to be with any of them after witnessing their crazy deeds. Hi guys, welcome to Kaylee King. In today's video, we will be recapping the events of a 2017 fantasy drama movie, An Affair, Two Sisters. Let's get right into it. The scene opens somewhere in the mountains of South Korea, where a solo traveler named Lee is looking for a place to spend the night. He asks an old woman if there are any hotels or homestays nearby, and the old woman tells him about a cabin in the woods. The cabin is run by two sisters, who live there alone and treat their guests with great interest. Lee gets excited in his mind thinking about two lonely girls and thanks the old woman, before going his way. A happy and excited Lee makes his way through the woods, looking for the cabin. The scene then shifts to a woman named Natalia in the jungle, who was one of the sisters that run the cabin. Suddenly, Natalia feels the urge to use the restroom, and she attends the nature's call in the open with no hesitation. Lee was also nearby, and he sees Natalia doing the deed, so he hides behind a rock and continues watching. Natalia notices that someone is watching her, so she finishes quickly and runs into the woods. A thirsty Lee runs around in the jungle, trying his best to find the girl he just saw, but to no avail. While searching for her, Lee reaches the cabin's location, where Natalia surprises him from behind. Natalia grabs Lee's hand, and takes him to the cabin, where the elder sister named Natasha also welcomes Lee. Lee gets his hopes high seeing Natasha, and tells them that he came to the mountain to spend his weekend, and now he wants a place to spend the night. The two sisters excitedly drag him inside, and the scene ends there. Soon, it is nighttime, and Lee sits at the dining table with the two sisters for dinner. Lee was feeling shy sitting with two beautiful girls, but Natalia was more crazy than beautiful, and he threatens to kill Lee if he doesn't start eating soon. Lee begins eating his food, and forgets about the threat, taking it as a joke. While they were eating, Natasha makes the first move, and begins touching Lee with her feet. Lee was stunned by the open nature of these two sisters, and he quickly finishes his dinner. Then later in his room, Lee tries to call his family in order to inform them about his whereabouts, but there was no signal in the mountains. Just then, Natasha enters his room and playfully tells him that there are no signals as his transformer is currently soft. But he doesn't need to worry as she will help him get a strong signal. Before we know it, Natasha begins making out with Lee. Natasha leaves after getting satisfied, and Lee smokes a cigarette to end his day. He then gets into the bed to call it a day. But not long after, Lee feels movement in his sheets, and we see that it is Natalia as she too wants Lee's transformer to discharge her. She gets on top of Lee, and starts enjoying, but Lee was tired from the day and he was unable to satisfy Natalia. This makes Natalia extremely angry and she unalives Lee on the spot. This is because she hates guys who get soft early without satisfying her. The following morning, Natasha gets to know what Natalia did, so she gets really angry at her. Apparently, this isn't the first time Natalia unalived a guy because he couldn't satisfy her. Then we get back to the foot of the mountain, where another solo traveler named Song asks the old woman for a place to stay. The old woman tells him about the cabin of two sisters, and Song gets going. Here, we realize that the old woman knows about the psychotic behavior of those two sisters, but she still guides solo travelers to the cabin. Maybe she was sick of travelers ruining the beautiful place, or maybe she had another reason, but who knows. On the other hand, Natalia was really angry that Natasha scolded her, so she wants something to vent out her anger. She decides to take a bath in the stream of the river. Meanwhile, Song gets lost in the woods trying to look for the cabin, and stumbled across Natalia bathing, naked. Natalia too sees that a guy is staring at her, so she immediately invites Song. Song excitedly gets into the river, thinking today is one hell of a lucky day. The two give each other exactly what they wanted, and the scene ends there. Back at the cabin, Natasha is starting to get worried for Natalia. She thinks that her sister left because. She scolded her too harshly. But soon after, Natalia returns with Song, and tells her that she has bought a. Guest. There, Natasha too falls for Song's manly body, and Song cannot stop himself from staring at her jugs. Song reveals that he has come to the mountains to click pictures and he needs a place to stay. Natasha says this is the perfect place to spend the night and takes him inside. This makes Natalia jealous as she noticed Song giving attention to Natasha. And she knew that Natalia will get on her knees as soon as the Song goes to bed. The three then sit together for dinner outside. Natasha is really good at cooking and even Song compliments the food she cooked. While eating, Song asks the two sisters about their family, so Natasha and Natalia reveal that both of them were born on this very cabin. They grew up here, and after their parents passed away, they too decided to live here, and avoided the hectic city life. But I guess they would have done great in a club, or on the streets in general. Soon it gets dark, and Natasha shows Song his room for the night. Before leaving, 
She tells him to call her if he has trouble falling asleep. Song sits down and takes a sigh of relief. He likes the room as it is very clean and maintained. On the other hand, Natalia is taking a bath, and she makes sure that she cleans every part of her body, so Song can have a great night. She then gets into Song's room and I don't think I need to tell you what happened next. After their hormone game, Natalia returns to her room and she is again really angry because Song couldn't satisfy her. Natalia's drive is really in a league of its own. She wants to kill Song too, but she remembers how much Natasha scolded her, so she controls herself. The scene then shifts to a group of policemen looking for a serial killer named Zen. Zen came into the woods to outrun the police, and he continues going deeper and deeper. Back to the cabin, Song comes out of the room as he realizes that Natalia is a psycho, and she can do anything to him. So he was trying to escape in the silence of the night. However, when he was out smoking a cigarette, Zen attacks him from behind and knocks him out. The following morning, Natasha goes to Natalia's room and tells her to wake up. She reveals that Song left the cabin with no notice. This news makes Natalia really angry and she decides that she'll kill Song. But since she can't do much now, she goes back to sleep. Then in the middle of the day, a guy knocks at the cabin's door and asks for a room. This guy was the killer named Zen. Though he looked sketchy, Natasha gave him the benefit of doubt and decided to give him a room. She leaves Zen in the room and goes to eat lunch with Natalia. In his room, Zen decides that he'll spend the night here and he'll kill Natasha tomorrow morning, after which he'll escape. Meanwhile, Natalia gets really excited to know that another guy has come to stay in their cabin. She decides that this time, she'll make her move right now, instead of waiting for the night, as the guy might escape like Song. However, Natasha knows what her sister is up to and she advises her to stay away from Zen as he seems suspicious. But as you may guess, logic and reasoning can't overpower hormones, and Natalia goes ahead with her plan. She enters Zen's room and gets directly to the main part to save Zen's stamina, but unfortunately, Zen still can't outlast Natalia and he finishes quickly. In anger, Natalia hits Zen with a dumbbell and unalives him. Just then, the police arrive outside the cabin and they inform Natasha about the serial killer in the area. They show her a photo of Zen, and Natasha immediately recognizes him. She says the guy is staying at this very cabin, so the cops immediately rush to catch him. However, when they enter his room and find him, they realize that he is already dead. Natasha hugs her sister and whispers something in her ear. Then, Natalia lies to the police, and says that Zen tried to assault her, so she responded in self-defense. Then at the end of the movie, we learn that the two sisters still run the cabin after the incident and the old woman still guides people to the location. That was it for the recap guys. Let us know in the comments if you like it. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.